I've been in the Design Build Fly Club since I was a sophomore, and I am now the president of the, the Design Build Fly Club as a senior. The Design Build Fly Club is a club of students that meet every Tuesday, and our mission is to create a plane from scratch. We have nothing. We design the blueprints, uh, the wings, fuselage, all of it, and we submit it into a competition, and we try to win the competition. What I like about DVF is it really takes me outside my comfort zone and I get to meet with a group of students that all have the same goal in mind and we apply our classwork and what we've learned in school so far to a project. Oh, one of the things I like about DVF are bringing our classroom engineering principles and bringing them to a project and working with our team. It's basically bringing a sketch to a 3D sketch and a 3D sketch to life basically. Um, it's designing a plane from scratch and then being able to fly that in competition and a win. Being a member of Saxon Racing offers you the opportunity to work with students from different majors on campus, but it also gives you the opportunity to work with different professionals, both on campus and then with our numerous sponsors to give you that real industry experience. My favorite thing about Saxon Racing is being able to design, manufacture, and then test our cars and then bring them to competition and see how they perform. It's really awesome to be able to see a project all the way through. Saxon Racing and the Step Lab are open to students in any field of study here at Alfred University. We like to have students from all majors down here collaborating on all the different projects that are available. So I am part of the senior design team for the Baja car. Um, I'm part of the maneuverability team, so we focus a lot on steering and making the car do what we want when we steer. I would say join as early as you can, get involved as an underclassman, and it'll make it so much easier if you want to use it as your senior design project. Tiny House is a sustainable housing situation. Um, it is intended to reduce the carbon footprint of the individual living in it while having a multifunctional space. Um, it's being utilized currently in states like Washington and Oregon to rehabilitate the homeless so they give them a free place to live, um, which in turn gives them the motivation to find a job and get back on their feet. So with Tiny House, um, you essentially are designing a house on wheels, so you have to know how to essentially work, think like an architect, you have to think like a plumber, you have to think like an electrician, you have to be able to plan and develop other things. So, you get into the project, you learn very quickly that like you can't just put a bunch of two by fours together to build the house. You have to have headers and a bunch of other um, concepts that contractors use. So when you think of the tiny house, there's obviously not much room to have a water storage tank available, like a big one. And so to replace that, we're going to use a gutter system that will collect the rainwater and filter it throughout so you can use it as either clean drinking water or for showers, your sink to wash dishes, and your washing machine. 